Welcome to this introduction to the Oxford Test of English Advanced Speaking Module. In this video, we'll talk you through the task types you can expect to complete when you take this module. We'll start with an overview of the module and then look at each of the five parts in more detail, highlighting key areas you'll need to be prepared for. We'll then finish with tips to help you do your best when you take the Oxford Test of English Advanced Speaking Module. The Oxford Test of English Advanced Speaking Module is a randomised test. This means that during the test you receive different questions to other people who are taking the test at the same time as you. The tasks in the speaking module are designed to measure your ability to speak in English at B2 and C1 levels of the CEFR, the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages. The speaking module consists of five parts. The total time you will have for the speaking module is approximately 15 minutes. Your responses will be submitted automatically at the end of your test and marked by trained human assessors. Your response for each part will be assessed against the following criteria. Task fulfillment, pronunciation and fluency, grammar and lexis. During the test, you wear a headset and speak into a microphone to answer questions on the computer screen. You can adjust the volume for each task on the screen. In each part of the test, the clock shows you how much time remains for you to give your answer. It's important to remember that the test moves on automatically to the next part when the time allowed has ended. Let's take a look at speaking part one. Part one has six different interview questions. This part tests your ability to give elaborate descriptions, describe the personal significance of events and experiences and give advice. Here's an example of a part one task. In the test, you'll be asked to answer six single sentence questions, which are audio only, on a variety of topics. Questions one and two are the same on any test and are not assessed. Questions three to six are on a variety of topics and are assessed. You will not have time to prepare for this task and you will have 30 seconds speaking time for each question. Try to speak for the full amount of time. Now let's look at speaking part two, which is based on leaving a voice message. This part tests your ability to express disagreement diplomatically and negotiate complex or sensitive transactions. Here's an example of a part two task. You will leave a voice message that responds to a situation that needs to be handled diplomatically. This task is audio written. You'll have 10 seconds to prepare for this task and 40 seconds speaking time. Now, let's look at speaking part three, which is a summary task. This part tests your ability to synthesize information from multiple sources and distinguish main points and supporting details. Here's an example of a part three task. In the test, you'll listen to two monologues by experts talking about a topic, and then you'll be asked to summarize the main points made by the experts. This task is audio only. You'll hear each monologue only once, but you will have a notepad on the screen where you can take notes while you listen. You'll have 40 seconds to prepare for this task and 50 seconds speaking time. Let's look at speaking part four, which is based on arguing your case on a debate proposition. This part tests your ability to argue a case on a complex issue, structure and sustain an argument, formulate points precisely, and employ emphasis effectively. Here's an example of a part four task. In the test, you'll argue your case for or against a debate proposition for two minutes using the prompts that are given. The proposition is on the screen. You can type notes on screen to help you prepare your answer. You'll have 45 seconds to prepare for this task and two minutes speaking time. Now, 
Let's look at the part five speaking task, answering follow-up questions based on the debate topic in part four. This part tests your ability to speculate and hypothesize and make critical remarks. Here's an example of a part five task. In the test, you'll answer four questions based on the topic of the debate in part four. The questions are audio only. You'll have no time to prepare for this task and 40 seconds speaking time for each question. And finally, here are some tips. When you take the Oxford Test of English Advanced Speaking Module, remember to read the instructions carefully and make sure you understand the task requirements before you start. Keep your responses appropriate to the audience you're speaking to. Use the time given to take notes or prepare your answers. Use a variety of grammar and vocabulary. State your opinions and attitudes clearly. Try to expand your answers as much as possible and keep speaking for the full amount of time. Pay attention to how much time you have left for each task. If you'd like to explore more about the Oxford Test of English Advanced, please visit our website at www.oxfordtestofenglish.com forward slash advanced. Here, you'll find more information about the test and each of the four modules, including practice materials and a demo test. Thank you.